anyone can be a victim of sexual violence. A person's age, sex, or gender doesn't matter. What one is wearing or doing doesn't matter. What matters is the support that she, he, or they receive, and the first 72 hours after sexual violence has been committed are critical. In the first 72 hours, chances of getting better treatment for injuries are higher. This includes cleansing of tears and cuts, suturing of wounds, and examining further complications. HIV AIDS can be better prevented if post-exposure prophylaxis treatment is given within the first 72 hours. Emergency contraceptive pills must be taken within the first 72 hours to prevent pregnancy. These can be taken until 120 hours after, but every hour delayed lessens how effective they are. Collecting forensic evidence is best done as soon as possible. This can be used to access justice and make a police report if desired. Proper examination by skilled, caring and correct authorities while respecting proper order of how evidence is handled is a must. This keeps it reliable and prevents it from being destroyed. Sexual violence affects its victims and even its witnesses in ways we don't always see. When early intervention for mental health and psychosocial support is provided, it can help victims and survivors mitigate long-term psychological consequences. Even beyond 72 hours, these services must always be offered no matter how long it has been since the crime took place. Remember, sexual violence is never the victim's fault. And us? We all have a role to play to support sexual violence victims and survivors especially in the first 72 hours.